Hi guys, welcome to a day with my dog. Piper and I are headed to go get Starbucks, of course, first. And then we're getting her shots. So she needs rabies and then there's this like what other one that I forgot. But I got a text and it was like, oh, she's due. So then I'm like, all right, so we are going there. Her appointment is at 11.45, but I left a little early because I wanted to get Starbucks and stuff and kind of just relax in the car because I'm going to go to the Starbucks closer to our vet. Yeah, she has no idea what's going on. Tomorrow morning she's getting groomed, but I don't know if I'm going to vlog that because I kind of want this to just be like a day vlog because tomorrow we're focusing more on Valerie's birthday weekend. Um, this is kind of just like a empty day not like an empty day but i'm gonna be like resetting for the week for my work week because we're going to a disney resort we're gonna have like a little disney sleepover tomorrow and i kind of just want that footage to be its like own thing this is just gonna be a little day in the life with my dog vlog that rhymed i love that sorry piper the noise is probably a lot sorry guys yeah it's a dog weekend too along with Valerie's birthday weekend because she's going to the vet and then tomorrow's the groomer. Uh, so she'll probably hate me. I swear every time I take my dog out, it's like for unfun things. Like sometimes we do a little Starbucks run. Hi baby. Oh, Piper. I joke around saying this dog lives half of her life probably like so pissed because <laughs> I'm like, no, get off or like down or you know just giving her all these commands the only time she's probably happy is like when she's getting fed you know it's all right she lives a pretty good life if i do say so myself so but it's a fun ongoing joke that i love saying like oh my gosh this dog's always pissed all right so i got the beverage piper i told her that tomorrow we're gonna get the pup cup isn't that right baby we're gonna get it tomorrow all right, yay, we got a cute little pic for the thumbnail. My poor dog. Well, you know what, Piper? We should film a Q&A, right? Yeah, no, I wish you could talk. This is gonna be a little sappy, but I couldn't have asked for like a better dog, honestly. Like, she is such a good dog. Like, when I got her, I don't know, maybe I'll tell you guys quickly the story about how I got my dog. Um, So basically, I have always wanted a Corgi, and I was like been set on a Corgi, for years and years. I played Nintendogs and that's why I wanted a Corgi so bad. I always said if I got a Corgi, it would be like Nintendogs in real life. So I was just so set on getting a Corgi. Then, as you guys know, I'm like a little obsessed with Sierra Furtado and I love her vlogs, her style, like, I don't know. There's just something about her. So then when she started dating Sam, if you guys know, like they're engaged or whatever, um, I'm talking about her like she's like Kim Kardashian or something. I don't know, I don't really like, follow kim that closely i don't know anything about like a lot of people but like when it comes to like certain youtubers like i do which is weird but you know i like them because they're not like major superstars or like really really well known but they're still like well known to an extent but anyway when she started dating sam he had a palm ski and I was like, I just fell in love. Like, it's a miniature husky. And I've always thought like huskies were gorgeous, but I don't think that like they were meant for me because they're like large, larger dogs. I was looking at breeders and stuff because I wanted to get a puppy and Valerie wanted to get a little kitten. And you know, it just was never the right time to get a dog. And I was talking to a breeder, some other state. And basically it just didn't really work out because of timing wise, we were getting ready to move too. The timing was just bad. And basically once we got moved, they were, my parents were like, once we get moved and like settled in a little bit, we'll get a dog. So I don't know, it was a Sunday morning and I was scrolling on my phone. I was in palm ski groups in Florida and just like normal palm ski groups. And I actually got in trouble in one for like asking people like where they got their palm skis because i wanted one that looked like a miniature husky because the breed isn't like a standard breed um it's not regulated by the akc or whatever because it's not like a regulated breed there's so many like people that breed them and then they come out not looking like i feel like a palm ski they can come in different colors but like what i want is the the husky mask like the face to me like matters with 
like a palm ski so personally that's just my personal preference so i was just very picky that's why i was asking people and they were telling me and then i got in trouble for one in one group and i'm like okay not not it but then i saw when i first opened facebook i saw this picture of piper and she was like just in a little backyard and it said looking for a new home for this girl um and i was like what and it was like two years old and my my friends in school back at the time when i was in like surge tech school they were like why don't you just not get a puppy why don't you get like a dog that's kind of you know already been trained and stuff which was a really good idea so when i found out she was like two and she was like potty trained good with kids everything she was just um a mom of a couple breeds like a couple litters i should say um, so she's a mom ski. So um, they were looking to just find her a new home. And I'm like, why would anyone want to rehome this girl? But, you know, they had a lot of other dogs. Fast forward, I messaged the girl and she was like, where are you located? I'm more of like in the Orlando area. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Me too. I'm in celebration. And she was like, I'm in St. Cloud. So um, Sherry and I drive to meet this little girl and she was a completely different dog. Um, she was very, very lethargic. Granted, she had just given birth, but you know, she's very lethargic. Her tail was down and Sherry was like, why is her tail down? And like, you know, cause always Pomsky's tails are up. So basically, uh, we met her and then they were just like, you know, she's free. And the only thing we want from you is to pay to get her, um, spayed or neutered. I think it, I don't know. I think it's Bay. I'm not that big in like the animal world. So clearly I wouldn't know, but they were like, if you pay us like $315 just to have our vet, like do it, then we'll, you know, then she's yours. So then we write them a check and they have her spayed or neutered, um, basically a week from when we like agreed. And then they kept well, like the girl kept pressuring us to kind of like take her before May 1st. And I was like, no, it has to be May 1st because like that's when we agreed. So there was a time and like there was this day that I was like about to not, I feel like not get her because I was just going to pull out the deal because like this lady was like pressuring me and she was like, in a way, she sent this like long, long message. And it was like, I've never had anyone send me that long of a message ever. And I was like, all right. So then... I was about, I was already having a day that day. I remember my friend Kyra will tell you, like I had already just had a bad day that day. Um, and I like on this, on top of it, I was about to just say, just forget it. Like I don't need a dog right now. It's like financial burden, whatever. Um, but then I was like, you know what? Just keep calm. And I'm like, it's May 1st. So I don't know. Some, somehow she like agreed to it she used the excuse of like we want people to like take their dogs sooner because we want them to bond with the dog and i'm like she would already it's not like she's a puppy like she's an adult dog like i don't need to start bonding it doesn't matter like what time i need to like start bonding with her but whatever um i i just had to include that because i was like that's weird but fine fast forward the day that i got her um i didn't want to go alone so after school, Kyra and I picked her up and I was going to be driving to the girl's house like where I had been, but she was like, no, it's more convenient if you meet me at this gas station. So I literally picked up this dog at a gas station and I'm like, I feel like I'm doing some illegal trade because I have this dog now um, <laughs> given to me in a parking lot. And then Kyra went home. I took her home and she was like curled up in a little ball and she didn't have a leash or collar luckily kyra because she was a vet tech for so many years and stuff had like this little leash type thing but i had no leash for this dog i feel like they put something in her fur that was like it was like a dry shampoo and i just did not like it and it was literally when i would pet my dog like my hands were swollen you can go on piper's instagram and see it was just like hives but i immediately gave her a bath and she like completely wet the whole bottom of my bathroom floor you can see that on her instagram too i think it's under the home tab but yeah that was the story about how i got my dog she was a little baby getting rehomed she was a mom ski 
Her puppies are the cutest things ever. You can see them on her Instagram as well. But she had like four puppies and oh my gosh, she's, I don't know guys. She's the best dog ever, especially for someone who's like a first time dog mom. Like I couldn't have asked for a better dog. Like she was crate trained. I, I can literally sleep in until like 11 or just be in my bed and she will not make a peep in her crate. I don't know, how did I get so lucky? She's just such a good dog. So anyway, that's gonna be it for this clip. Um, hopefully I can get some little clips in the vet. I don't know, They, it's weird. I'm thinking about taking her to a different vet, but they take her back and like leave me out in like the main area. They just take her back and like do whatever. And then they bring her out and consult with me in the lobby. It's like super weird, but you know whatever i'll probably end up switching vets but yeah uh definitely love this girl whoever said like pomskis are like hard to train and hard to like you know they're just like too hyper and stuff i don't i think it's really based on just personality of your dog because she's great um every dog's different just like every human so you can't really like put a label on any type of breed i definitely foresee a corgi in my lifetime um but the Pomsky, the Pomsky was just calling me, so. And it was just meant to be, and my parents love her, so. All right, that's it for this clip. That's the story about how I got my dog. All right, Piper, she's lounging, but we're here, and, ooh, she's, come on. We're gonna go in the vet now. Come on, come on. Just got out of the vet and she got her stuff updated here. That was my total, but she got her vaccines and I'm very happy that they have this, but she got a little rabies tag um, that I'm gonna put on her collar now. I didn't realize that dogs got these. My mom was like, oh, she might get a rabies tag. And I'm like, oh, well, I didn't get one when I got her, you know what I mean? But the vet gave me this, so. Thank goodness now she's legit. So now I am headed to town hall because I want to update these like forms for Piper so she can go to the dog park. Um, and hopefully I'll have access. I know I'll have to renew the pass pretty soon, just like my ID for the town, like to get into the stuff. I'll have to update that soon, but hopefully they'll already have like the files for my dog. So I won't have to like, you know, renew that part as well. So I'll only have to renew just the me part and my dogs will be fine. And it's kind of like on my way home. So that's what we're gonna do now. We are here at Wolfgang because I wanna give them her updated vaccines. Yeah, she doesn't like this place either. Oh, you're so dramatic, so dramatic. All right, so slight change of plans. Valerie is not cooking. Where are we going, Valerie? I guess we're, <laughs> oh, make me feel bad. <laughs> the weather is not good enough to cook. No, it's too windy. Too windy, it's gonna rain. Mm -hmm. So we're going to go to Longhorn. Yeah, we had a great meal there. So I'm excited to have a steak and fries. I forgot what else. I'll probably have to check on the vlog because that's how I always remember because <laughs> I just go back through my videos and be like, oh, what did I get? Because I just remember having a really good meal there. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's fine. As long as I, I don't have to cook because I don't think I can. I, <laughs> if, I, if we're grilling out, it's not going to happen. Yep. Oh, shit. Sorry. It's a little bright there. It's a little bright. Sorry. We need a few minutes. All right, so I'm continuing on this vlog because we're still with the dog. Like I said in the beginning clips, she has a grooming appointment and this poor girl, I swear, has no idea. Actually, I think she does know, but she loves going out with me, so she's torn. She's like, I hate getting groomed, but I wanna go for a ride, so we are going to get her groomed. I might just do the mini groom. She had already been de-shedded um, last time. So I'm thinking that 
she'll just do the mini groom today, which only takes like an hour. And then we're gonna get some Starbucks and stuff. On another note, I don't know if I'm gonna do a vlog or just a TikTok of Valerie's birthday. I normally always vlog it, but I am basically not spending the night at the Disney Resort because I had to take care of the dog. So I'm just gonna stay here, but I'm gonna like partake in the like birthday festivities. So I might just do a TikTok. I'm already a little bit ahead with the vlogs because of the get ready with me video that I wasn't planning on filming. So I don't know. I haven't decided if I'm gonna vlog or not. I might vlog and then combine the footage with like next Friday's video. That's what I'm thinking I'll do. Because I know for real like I will not have enough footage because I don't vlog a whole lot like when out and about so that's what i'm thinking and now i'm just thinking out loud so you guys can enjoy my thoughts finally for once we're kind of like on time normally we're like in a huge rush to get to the groomer but like they're always like running behind but the last time when i was like two minutes late they were like waiting for me i'm like of course this would happen this would happen it is a beautiful morning downtown celebration Piper loves to be out and about. Here's her favorite restaurant. Piper, come on, Piper. Let's go. Okay, of course, Piper had to take her poop in the road, but I pulled her over to, like, this area. Well, not this one, but on the other side. Every time, she's like, you know what? I'm just gonna take a shit in the middle of the road, you know? Like, she's just not having it. At least she went to the bathroom, like, here instead of the groomer, because that would be embarrassing. Piper's clearly at her favorite place. She hates the groomer, <laughs> but we love Adriana, don't we? All right, so got the Starbucks, got my drink, and then also got a cake pop because I was feeling a cake pop today. Okay, if I like had the money, this is something I actually would probably buy. The Buddy the Elf with the Etch-a-Sketch. How funny. Here she is! Thank you, Adriana! Good girl! You look beautiful! <laughs> that line of trick, she rather did nail grinding. If I try to clip it first, she pops mm -hmm. out. Oh, okay. Oh! That's funny, right? Yeah, she, she's odd. She has weird tendencies. <laughs> Thank you. Look at her! Good girl! <laughs> look how beautiful you look! So Piper is looking better than ever and she smells so good. That is going to be it for this dog vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was another fun, a little different thing to throw on my channel and I don't know. I just, I like doing different things. You guys know that. So if you guys enjoyed, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Do it for Piper. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.